Today, I'll show you how to generate 90,000 leads in one day, and we're gonna use the power of ChatGPT. We're gonna use only free tools, and it's gonna blow your mind how simple this actually is. Plus, I'm gonna show you how to make money with these leads as well. So if you're ready, then smash the like button below and let's go. For the first step, we're going to use Google, but first you should know that this works for any niche and any type of business. If you need leads for network marketing, Bizorp, plastic surgeon leads, leads for musicians. You can generate leads with this method in any of the niches. All right, let's say for argument's sake, you're trying to sell something to dentists. Here is how you can generate dentist leads. I'm going to zoom in here. So type this into Google, like this, site semicolon instagram.com, then in parentheses dentist, and then after that type in all of the email extensions separated by or. I'm going to paste that into the description of the video below. So if you need it, just go there and you'll find it there. What this is going to do is it's going to find all dentists on Instagram who have got their email address stated in their profile. So look at this, we've now got pages and pages of leads of all the dentists that are on Instagram along with their email addresses. See, there is an email address, there is an email address. There is an email address over here. And we've got tens of pages of these results. Can you see how powerful this is? This is insane. All this is for free. Now, so that we can get more than 10 per page, I'll show you a shortcut. At the very end of it, we're going to add this and symbol NUM equals 100. So this will give us 100 results per page so that you've got 100 results here on page one. And then of course you've got lots and lots more pages. Don't worry, it's not four pages. They're actually tens of pages. Now, next step, let's copy these into the Google Doc. So I'm going to just go like this with my mouse and then select everything. It's going to look messy, but don't worry. And now I'm gonna hit Control C to copy, or you can right click with your mouse and say copy, and then open up a brand new Google Doc. And then I'm just going to Control V or paste and this is going to paste everything for us and it's going to look like an absolute total mess. But don't worry about this, we're gonna clean this up in just a second. Then you can go here to the next page, click next, and that's going to give you another 100 results. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay, we're going to take all of this and then you can do the next page and so on. So once you've got several hundred leads or a thousand leads, however many you want, you should go ahead and open ChatGPT and let's give it a super cool command. Okay, I'm gonna give it this command. I'll give you a list of data. I want you to process it and return a table with the following info. If you cannot find some info, then put not found. The columns that I want are name, Instagram link, business name, and email address. Let's hit enter. All right, so now you can see it's told us, sure, please provide the list of data and I'll process it accordingly. So let's go over here. Don't select too much at once. Uh, I find that about 10 pages worth in Google Doc is good. Uh, so I'm going to select all of this, right click, copy, then come back and then right click and paste. Let's click enter. And you can see now that we're returning this table. Okay, and look what is happening. So ChatGPT is now giving us this list of name, Instagram link, business name and email address of every single lead that it can find in here. And then of course, once we process the first roughly 10 pages, we can give it the next 10 pages, the next 10 pages and so forth. Now we're gonna say, please process some more data, I will paste. And literally let's just go back and get the next 10 pages. So roughly about this much will do. Copy, paste and press return. It will now process the data again. And we're now gonna have a couple of tables with the all of the leads that we want. All right, so now let's take this first table and I'm going to grab all of this data over here. I'm gonna open a brand new spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet. I've already got the names for the columns and I'm now going to click Control V to paste and here we go. This is all of the data. Now I'm going to go to the second table and I'm going to copy all this data again and I'm going to do the same thing and paste it. Okay guys, so if you thought this was cool, let me know below in the comments, but I'm gonna show you how to get way more leads. And for this, you can go where you've got site instagram.com. In here, type in facebook.com. Okay, and then run the same search. Okay, so look at this. We've now got dozens and hundreds and hundreds of results from Facebook for this. Then you can change this to say linkedin.com and run the same result. 
And guess what? You've now got hundreds and hundreds of results from LinkedIn. So you can do the same thing, take all of these leads and process them in ChatGPT. So now you might be wondering, okay, cool. So I've got all of these thousands and thousands of leads. How do I actually sell to them? Well, if you're gonna outreach to them by email, you can use a tool such as make.com make.com actually has got a free plan which is really cool and it's going to help you a lot okay once you've signed up to make.com you can create a new scenario and then let's first create our trigger so our trigger is going to be based on google sheets so we're going to say google sheets and we're going to say watch like this because the automation that we want will be watch new rows okay so it's very very important make sure that you are creating the automation on watch new rows, which is going to be our trigger. So whenever a new row is added to the spreadsheet, then we want a certain automation to run, we want an email to go out. So in here, when you see connection, make sure that you create a connection to your Google Docs or Google Sheets account. Now I just need to choose my spreadsheet ID. So I'm going to select dentist leads over here. Then let's choose sheet name. I only have one sheet, so that's easy. Table contains headers, yes, because we do have headers over here. Row with headers, yes, this is the first row, A1 to Z1 and where it says the limit, so maximum number of results to be worked with during one execution cycle, I want it to be just one row, one lead at a time. So let's now click OK, choose where to start. So this is asking us, because we've already got some rows, where should we start? So you can either tell it to start with number two, or you can go into your very last row and say to start with 42, so that once number 42 is pasted, the automation will start running. So I'm going to put in 42. This is where I wanted to start only for new leads. Now let's click save over here and let's turn on scheduling. So scheduling will ensure that this is run every X minutes or X hours. I'm going to choose at regular intervals every 60 minutes. So I want one email sent per hour from my Gmail account just to not to trigger any spam warnings. Okay, so now let's add the action. So see where it says a plus sign, we can say add another module. And here we will want to choose Gmail and we'll want to send a new email. So I've typed in Gmail send and I've got this Gmail send an email as the action. So same thing here, we will need to create a connection to our Gmail account. I'm going to click here, sign in with Google. If you get this error, then follow the procedures that are outlined in this guide. So just click on this guide. There are a couple more steps that you will need to use. And this is only applicable if you're using a personal Gmail or Google Mail account. If you're using a custom domain on Google services, you won't see this error. But if you're using your personal Gmail address, this is what you've got to do. First, create a Google Cloud Console project. Then in this top menu over here, click on new project and open up a new project and give it a name. So I'm going to call it Dentist Leads. Then after this, we've got to go up here at the top and select this project. So I'm just going to click on it to make sure that it is actually selected. Make sure that you're working within the Dentist Leads or whatever your project name is. From here, find APIs and services or find it from the left-hand side where it says APIs and services and click that link. Once you're on this page, go to Library. For our purposes, it will be this one, Gmail API. Let's click on that. And from here, click Enable. We need to enable this Gmail API. Once you're on this page, go to OAuth consent screen over here. Under user type, select external. Let's then click create. And where it says app name, let's enter make. Because this is going to be the service accessing it. And under user support email, enter your Gmail account email. Very important, your Gmail account email. Next, under add authorized domains over here, click add domain. And make sure that you add these two domains. Very, very important. Then under developer contact information, again, enter your Gmail address from which you're trying to send, and then click save and continue. On the next page, click add or remove scopes. And first, click this Gmail API, enable this scope that says HTTPS mail.google.com. Then go below here and click update to save it. So here at the bottom, click save and continue. In the test user screen, don't worry about anything here, click save and continue. And we can now go back to dashboard. Your app status will be testing. Don't worry, this is completely normal. Then go here to credentials on the left and we'll need to create the credentials. Let's click create credentials at the top and we want to create our auth client ID. For application type, we want to choose web application. I'm gonna name it dentist leads app where it says authorized redirect URIs. You will want to add the URI and the one that we need is this one here, integromat.com. I will just put this one here on the screen so that you can copy it. And you'll want to note down your client ID and client secret code. 
Don't worry, we're pretty much done. Let's go ahead and create a connection again. But now let's choose show advanced settings over here and let's copy this client ID and client secret that we created previously into these fields. Okay, I clicked sign in with Google after I entered those. And now let's choose sign in with Google. And if you see this error, don't worry, I'll show you how to fix it. Go back to your app and where it says test users, click add users, enter your email address over there with which you're accessing the account and click save. Now let's try again, click advanced settings. Now app ID, client secret, and from here choose an account, click the account. And finally, if it says this, Google hasn't verified this app, you've been given access, it means that everything is okay. So let's click continue. Give Integromat the authority to read, compose, send, and permanently delete all your email from Gmail over here and click continue. Finally, we're in, congratulations. So now we will need to set up the next step. So where it says to add a recipient, we can click on here, email address, and choose the email address row, which for us will be email address over here. And we can now go ahead and set up our subject and content of the email that we want to send. Since we're targeting dentists, we might be selling some dentist related tracking software. So then enter your subject. It will of course depend a lot on what you're actually trying to do and to sell, but it can be something like, can I help you with admin? And then you'll need to enter the content of your email in here. So it can be something like this. Imagine you're selling some kind of an admin software for dentists. You can say something like this. Hi, saw you on Instagram, wanted to reach out. I've helped over 50 dentists previously to cut down their admin work. Can I send you a three minute video to show you how it works? Once you're happy with this, it will depend of course what you're selling to whom you're selling, but this is just one example. You can click okay and guess what's gonna happen now? This thing that you've set up is going to sell for you 24 seven. All you need to do is just give it a list of leads and this is gonna send an email, one email per hour, 24 hours a day. It's gonna start following up with these leads. Now, of course you can set up several Gmail accounts. Okay, so you can only do 24 per hour per Gmail account, but if you do this several times, you can set up a massive automation campaign that's just going to be selling for you 24 seven. Now, hey, if you guys thought this was useful, I'd super appreciate it. If you can subscribe to my channel just below, smash the like button and leave me a comment below to let me know what you thought. Don't forget that I'm offering free trial access to my mastermind community where I teach people how to make money online with seven second videos. So you can grab your access at fastervideos.com. All the links to that are also in the description below and in comments. And go ahead and watch this video next. In this video, I'm actually gonna show you a really cool way to start making money online and generating leads and sales. This video has helped a ton of people already, so I don't want you to miss it. Go ahead and watch this right now. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.